Here we're going to solve the system of equations 9x plus 5y plus 9z equals 3 and negative 45x plus 10y plus 27z equals negative 6. And we're going to solve this by using um, some elimination by addition. Now, for this type of system, there's not going to be a unique solution. We're going to get infinitely many solutions in this case. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new equation where the y, the terms involving y are missing. So to do that, I'm going to multiply both sides of my first equation by negative 2. So if we take 9x and multiply by negative 2, we'll get negative 18x. 5y times negative 2 will be negative 10y. 9z multiplied by negative 2 will be negative 18z. And then 3 multiplied by negative 2 will be negative 6. I'm going to leave our second equation alone. And now I'm going to add these two equations together. So negative 18 plus negative 45, that's going to be negative 63x. The terms involving y cancel. Negative 18z plus 27z will be positive 9z. And negative 6 plus negative 6 will be negative 12. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to assign z. We're going to let z equal the value of a. Well, to, to, to find the value of x in terms of a, we'll just take our equation here. We've got negative 63x plus 9 times a equals negative 12. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add 63x to both sides, and I'm going to add 12 to both sides. So we'll have 9a plus 12 equals 63x. And now I'm just going to divide both sides by 63. And now we've got our value for x. It says x will be 9a plus 12 over 63. I think we can even reduce this a little bit. We could factor a 3 out of the numerator. 3 times 3a would be 9a. 3 times positive 4 would give us positive 12. Well, 3 multiplied by 21 would give us 63. So we can cancel out the 3 and say x is the same thing as 3a plus 4 over 21. So now we've got our value for x. We said that z was equal to a. Now we just need to go back and figure out the value for y. It doesn't matter which equation we use. I'm going to use the first one just because the numbers are a bit smaller. So we have 9 times x, and x was equal to 3a plus 4 over 21, plus 5 times y, plus 9 times z, but again we're letting z equal a. So again, now it's just a matter of solving for y uh, in, in terms of a. So, all right, I'm kind of looking here. I've got a little bit of uh, arithmetic to do to simplify. I'm going to distribute the 9 uh, to my first term. So 9 times 3a will be 27a. 9 times positive 4 will be positive 36. Again, this is over 21 plus 5y plus 9a equals 3. To get rid of the, the uh, fraction with the 21 in the denominator, I'm going to multiply both sides by 21. Well, 21 divided by 21 would cancel, so we would have 27a plus 36. 5 times 21 will be 105. Got to in include the y. And then uh, 21 times 9a, well, let's see, 20 times 9 would be 180, and then we would need another 9, so that would be 189a. My 9s and my a's look a little similar, so I'm going to try to make the, the 9s a little distinct here for sure. 3 times 21 will be 63. So let's see here. Um, we've got 27a and 189a, so 189 and 27. Let's see. Uh, Looks like 216, so we'll have 216a plus 105y 
And also what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 36 from both sides. So 63 minus 36, that's going to leave us with positive 27. And now to solve for y, I'm going to subtract the 216a. We would have 105y equals 27 minus 216a. I'm just going to divide both sides by 105. And now we've got our value for a as well. So we've now got our solution. We said z, we could let z equal uh, the value a. x would equal 3a plus 4 over 21. And y is going to equal 27 minus 216a divided by 105.